guys, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So welcome to another spend the day with me in Miami Beach vlog. I have a few things going on today. I am gonna finally show you guys what I got the last time I went to Ball Harbor Shops with Sanji and Rose. I bought a little something from Fendi and also from Versace. So I'll be showing you guys those items today. I'm actually headed to Saks today to shop for an upcoming campaign. Usually when I work with brands, they actually send me the items, but something gotta happen with that. So now I have to go to the store. So I'm gonna take you guys shopping with me today as well for that campaign. I'm also gonna show you guys a few new like little home decor knickknacks that I got in from CB2. I also just ordered some really great stuff from Marshalls. I know I said I wasn't shopping anymore for this apartment, but now I'm shopping for my new condo. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I announced recently in like a little living room decor a reel that I finally bought a property here in Miami Beach. I bought a condo, so I'm very excited about that. So, so thank you all for all the well wishes. I am going to still be in this apartment probably for the next couple of months before I move into my new place. It's actually still being finished. Very, very exciting. I am going to do a full apartment tour here before I move. I know a lot of you asked about that. So don't worry, it's coming. Did I tell y'all to like and subscribe? And click the little notification bell so that you never miss a video. I'm not sure if I did, but if I didn't, there you go. A lot of you do watch and y'all aren't subscribed. So please, subscribe to you girl. I don't want you to miss a video. It's gonna be a really fun, day so without further ado i'm gonna get myself together by the way i'm wearing this two-piece skims set it's ribbed it's super duper comfortable i think they just had a restock but they sell out like hotcakes y'all so i will link a few of my favorite skim sets down below and also just similar ones that look like this that aren't skims and again my favorite cup mug from target $2.99 a lifesaver. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you guys the new end things, the little home decor knickknacks that I got in first, and then we'll get ready for the day and head out. I also need to get a wax, y'all. I need to get a wax and I need to get a pedicure. So much to do, so little time. Let's go. All right, guys, so first up, I got some of these PF Candle Co. Candles from CB2. This is the Teakwood and Tobacco, one of my favorite scents, and it is a soy candle. I don't want to burn my hotel collection candle just yet, even though it smells amazing without even being lit, because I just love how it looks, but oh, it's the signature scent. It smells amazing. I do have a coupon code for the hotel collection, so definitely check them out for like really cool candles that are scented like different hotels all over the world. What else new I got in is this little tray. This is just like a black porcelain tray. I also got this from CB2, and I bought it specifically to house my sage. So this is a sage smudge stick. Anytime I move into a new place, which isn't often, um, <laughs> I sage the place. So if I feel like I need to change the energy, I need to say a few affirmations throughout the space and just cleanse the space, I will sage. But I got this little smudge stick also from CB2. It smells incredible. I like to display that there. And another PF Candle Co teak wood and tobacco soy candle there. So over here, this little vessel I got in recently from the Lincoln Road Antique Flea Market. It's so cute, I love it. This is also new and I haven't found a good spot for this yet. I actually think it's going to look better in my new place, but it's this candle holder. It's beautiful, let me turn down the light so you can kind of see it. It's a true white. And I got this from CB2 as well. And I also got the little candles to go inside it from CB2. I've had this vase, I wanna say it's from H&M. 
and I filled it with tulips. You guys, they look fake, don't they? They're actually real. They're so stunning. So those are just a few little knickknacks that I got in from CB2. I've also been getting lots of questions about like my tripod when I do my hands-free Insta stories. And this is my tripod. It's amazing. I got it from Amazon. I feel like it was like 30 bucks. It also comes with a little phone clicker, a little uh, adapter so you can put your phone in there. So if you guys are interested in this, I'll link this down below as well. And that is what's new in. Oh, one more thing. I wanted to thank you guys for all the love on my Miami Beach morning routine video. I'm so glad you all enjoyed it. I did get a, a quite a few dislikes on that video and I knew I was going to get a few, mainly because I told you all what my boundaries were when it comes to contacting me with unsolicited advice. And here's the thing, people are always gonna feel a kind of way when you tell them how to treat you. And that has everything to do with them and nothing to do with you. So don't be afraid to let people know what your boundaries are. It doesn't matter like what anyone thinks about your boundaries. Tell people what your boundaries are. And if they respect you, they'll listen. And if they take it personally, that's their problem. It's really just hard to go through life trying to please everybody. Start with yourself, please yourself first. It's okay to put yourself first, put your mental well-being first, regardless of what anyone else in your life has to say, including people you don't know or strangers on the internet. Don't let it get to you, please don't let it get to you. But most of the feedback and tips that I get Absolutely, I love you guys for always making suggestions. It's just, that's my boundary. And I'm glad that most of you understand that and don't take it personally. It has nothing to do with you um, and everything to do with me. So I'm gonna get myself together and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Fendi and from Versace. Got some good stuff. So I got myself together in full editing transparency. I already went and got my nails done and then I went to Zara. But I like to do my videos in order because I'm super type A. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, first of all, my outfit of the day. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Fendi and Versace the last time I was at Ball Harbor Shops. And then I'm gonna rewind it and take you guys with me to get my nails done and shopping at Zara. And then we're gonna head in real time over to Ball Harbor Shops. So I just quickly did my makeup. I wear the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I love that foundation. This lip is Rihanna. I like it, it's like a matte brown. Um, it's the Fenty. I'm gonna link it down below because for the life of me, I can't think of the name of it. And this dress is the Petal and Pup dress it's the infamous kind of cutout dress very inspired by colt gaia i actually wore this in a previous vlog in like the cinnamon brown color this one is the beige or like white color uh absolutely love it i got it in my normal size which is a us size 6 uk size 10 i believe and i love it i have it in four colors I actually did a reel on my Instagram styling this dress in all of the four different colors I have it in. I have it in pink, I have it in this color, I have it in like the cinnamon brown, and I also have it in mint. And I asked my audience which one they like the most. Sound off below. Now that you're watching again, let me know which one you like the most or the styling of it the most. And definitely if you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing out on a lot of amazing content that I create specifically for Instagram. Definitely head on over there, check it out. Give me a follow at Monroe Steel. I'm gonna show you the full look. 
so you can see i paired it with i actually can't tell you who these shoes are from because they haven't actually come out yet but i'm working with one of my favorite brands and it will be on my instagram soon these are super comfortable a more affordable dad sandal genuine leather gold hardware very light easy to walk in they come in a bunch of fun different colors so look out on my instagram like the weekend of may 15th around my birthday and you will see just who these are by but let me give you the full look all right guys here is the full look I absolutely love this dress. It's a very kind of like light knit. Perfect for the weather here in Miami. These earrings are Jennifer Fisher. I'll link them down below. I think they're like 18 karat gold plated or something like that y'all. Don't get me to lying. But uh, it's just the perfect little goddess dress. Definitely check out Petal and Pup. I'm actually gonna be working with them again soon. And check them out because this dress is everything. It like ties up and crisscrosses in the back, and it's just a wonderful dress. Ha, huh, okay, so without further ado, my first ever something from Fendi. I picked this up from the Fendi at Ball Harbor Shops a few weeks ago when Rose was here and Sanji were here, and we were shooting our Something by Sanji Times from a Rose Steel Wanderlust summer spring collection this was a super duper impulse buy but it's stunningly gorgeous and i can't wait for you to see it i've worn it already y'all i'm sorry here we go got the box this is not going to be an unbox unboxing because who has time little tissue paper stop the video and like guess down below what you think is in here i'm interested to know dang my tan is popping y'all. Anywho, we have the Fendi Roma dust bag. Y'all are gonna die. Well, you're not gonna die, but you're hopefully gonna love this as much as I do. Little standard Fendi dust bag. And inside we have, oh, uh, oh, uh, isn't she stunning? This is the Fendi baguette. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. What I love most about it is that the edges are sewn with fabric and not that black glue strip. I don't know what it is about these luxury brands that use that little glue strip, but I feel like it just makes it look cheap. Like it makes it look like a forgery and I don't like that little glue strip. Like I feel like it's, they can do better. Is it a glue strip? Is it like a strip of leather? I'm sure it's not like melted leather. It's like some kind of glue, right? Y'all let me know down below because I'm new to this luxury lifestyle. Anywho, but this is why I went for this bag because I love that all of the ends are like sewn with fabric. Can you see that? Oh, it has that classic Fendi F and the little gold buckle here. Oh, it's beautiful. It is the perfect size. Oh, you can wear it in like the crook of your arm like this. Ah! You can also wear it, you know, just holding it, you know. It's, this strap is too short for it to be a shoulder bag, but that's all right because wait. So you open it up. Of course it has a little buckle there. Can you see? I haven't even taken off the little strip. <laughs> Let's take that off. Uh, oh wait, can you guys see how the little buckle there says Fendi right there? Ugh, eh, it's everything. Inside, I have another little dust bag with just some tissue paper inside to keep the shape of the bag, which is great. I have two dust bags, like, wonderful. And there's also my little authenticity card or I don't really know what this is, probably how to care for your bag. And a crossbody strap. Now this crossbody strap is what sold me on this bag. This bag comes with this crossbody strap. It's not extra and it's double sided. So on one side, you just have the Fendi Fs and on the other side, you have some writing. It pretty much says Fendi Roma. Can you see that? Yeah. It says Fendi Roma. And of course it has those gold 
little straps there. It's pretty just basic on the inside. There's one little zipper here, one little zipper pocket there and everything else is just in a little open space. What I'm thinking about doing is getting an insert for this bag, otherwise it's very malleable. So I'm gonna get an insert with like little compartments for it just to keep the shape and also just to have more compartments because you just throw everything in there, it gets lost. This one little zip probably isn't enough, but uh, isn't she gorgeous? So I wanted like a black bag. I settled on this because I don't know why, I just like this. <laughs> I don't have a black bag. The closest thing I have to like a neutral bag that I can wear with everything is my Louis Vuitton um, accessoire crossbody bag, but that has a green strap. I like that this is like black and a neutral tone. Is this black or is this blue? They told me it was black, but it's looking real blue to me. Oh, it's so good. So let me show you how it looks with the crossbody strap. There's a little hook right here, then clip it on. Also y'all, they almost tried to get me because there was like a little mini Fendi bag with the same design that you can like clip on here and have like a little mini Fendi. That was $700, like for a little tiny coin purse that I could barely fit anything in. Now, I might go get it y'all, I don't know. I don't know, it was real cute, but we gonna see. So here's the strap. And so I could definitely wear it crossbody like this. Ah, it's perfect. I love it. I can also just wear it on my shoulder like this. Oh, you guys, this is my new favorite bag. Mm, mind you, I bought this bag after I bought my Chanel bag that you haven't even seen yet. You'll see it soon. And I told myself after I bought that Chanel bag that I wasn't buying no more bags until I'm a millionaire. I'm not a millionaire yet, y'all, but clearly I have a millionaire mindset and millionaire taste because I'm just out here spending money. Anywho, it was a gift to myself for, I don't know, launching my second clothing collection which did really well. I got an amazing ROI, so. Hey, if this is still available, I'll link it down below. The store that I went to, Ball Harbor, only had one. The design district only had one, so I feel like these are really selling out. So that's what I got from Fendi. Next up, and I set a timer, so if it goes off, don't mind it. Like, I set a timer for how long I can record <laughs> before I have something else to do so I don't talk a lot. Next up, I got something from Versace. I'm loving Versace right now. Living in Miami, like Versace is just fun. It's, it's gaudy and this is like a gaudy town so it's perfect, very colorful, very fun, very kind of over the top, very grandiose and I'm all about that life right now. So, is this upside down? Yeah, it is. So, I got a little something from Versace. I love it. If you watch my new in haul or things that I've been buying since I've been in Miami, you would have seen like the different sunglasses that I got from Versace. So let's open this up. I've already worn these. <laughs> I'm so thirsty y'all, I can't even. Okay. We have a dust bag. Super cute with the little logo. Got some tissue paper. And we have these stunning heels. Now I believe these are sold out at the moment, but aren't they fantastical? Like, look at them. First of all, they're white, my favorite color. They, well not my favorite color, but one of my favorite colors for shoes because they go with everything. They have that super blunt edge there. They have this thick gold chain here. They have a thick gold chain that goes around the ankle and then it has this little medallion, almost like a charm, a, a Versace charm that just hangs off there. Zips up the back. Love that the zip also has white leather. Ugh, look at that heel. It is a architectural miracle. I love it. It's not a stiletto, so they're actually very comfortable and very easy to walk in even though they are quite high and 
they're stunning i love them ah i love them so much they were very expensive they were like the same cost of the bottega lito mule so but i love them like every time i wear these which has been twice so far i just feel like i'm that girl okay i'm that woman i'm out here crushing my goals i'm out here chasing my dreams i'm out here living uh isn't it aren't they so good oh uh, okay i got my normal size which is a 41 they fit perfectly just in case you're interested or you want to try and find them they're stunning all right guys so that's what i got in from fendi and versace from ball harbor shops i'm gonna get myself together y'all because i have to leave here like very very soon but we're gonna go ahead and rewind it i'm gonna take you guys with me to get my nails done all right guys so when i first moved to miami i was reached out to by class pass which is a really cool app that kind of shows you everything that's happening in a place they have health and wellness things like if you want to take pilates classes boxing classes spin classes they have beauty if you want to get your nails done you need a wax you need a facial they have wellness like massages yoga literally everything to just live a healthy lifestyle on class pass and so i've been working with them for like the past month and i absolutely love it class pass is how i found my facialist here in miami beach also where i found the perfect place to get a massage and now the perfect place to get my nails done so i actually made the, the appointment this morning like right after i had my coffee i found a place that i could get a quick mani pedi this morning so if you are looking for like cool things to do in your town and it just makes it really easy to make appointments like even the same day definitely check out class pass i've put a link down below it's my affiliate link check it out so i went through oh this is not sponsored by the way yeah I mean, it's sponsored that I work with them, but this is not paid for. I wish it was, though. So. Anywho, so through ClassPass, I made a reservation at this place. It's called Hina International Salon. It's on Collins. It's at 2000 Collins Avenue. And y'all, y'all. Anywho, it's not too far from where I live, so I just ended up walking over there and stopping and getting myself an acai bowl, like, i is it acai or acai -y? i keep forgetting i love those bowls they are delicious and they have all of these cool like berries in it and great antioxidant things for you that are healthy for you so i kind of eat one almost every day like you can find a bowl like anywhere on the beach i stopped off had one of those then i walked to my appointment it's a stunning day today in miami beach it's gorgeous it's like 80 degrees the sun is shining the palm trees are swaying it's just a beautiful day so i got there i went inside they have these beautiful chandeliers and the cutest little dog is just running around he's so cute i think it's a pug they already knew i was coming i didn't have to pay anything it pays through the points on my app i just went inside i sat down gave them my colors y'all know i always take my own colors when i go to the nail salon because i am super duper type a and so I got the Zoya Tari on my nails and the Zoya Purity White on my toenails. I really love this place. Like y'all, this is my new nail spot. I don't get any gel. I don't get any acrylic. I don't get, it's just my natural nails that I get painted. And so if you need a place like that in Miami Beach, definitely check them out. Like they brought me out some Prosecco. They brought me some water. I had a little chair massage. They even did this really cool thing like a mechanical pumice scraper. I've never seen this little machine before in my life, but y'all, my feet are baby smooth, okay? Baby smooth. And she was really meticulous with like my toes and like my hands. And you guys know I have really short nails. So sometimes when people do them, they just don't care because they're like, oh, your nose are natural, you know? they're short like this gun chip she took her sweet time and they look amazing okay that was literally the best mani pedi i've ever had in my entire life like she took her time and like my toes and my fingers look amazing i'm gonna link them down below definitely check them out also if you have class pass you can use your points to book an appointment through them a1 service absolutely loved it there so then i ended up just walking back and 
I had never actually walked up that far on Collins and it's just lovely. Like they have tons of really nice restaurants and there's actually this cool like vintage car outside of this restaurant slash I think it was a boutique hotel. And they have hookah bars out there. I'm definitely gonna maybe stop by there soon and like check out some of these restaurants because they look pretty cool. And then I ended up stopping by Zara. Now I told myself I was just gonna pop in and see if they had this one like pink crochet knit top that I saw on the website like two days ago. Of course they didn't have that, but I ended up buying a ton of stuff. I bought like uh, 300 bucks worth of stuff. So what I plan to do is create a little reel, keep or return reel. I'm probably gonna end up keeping all this stuff y'all cause it's all real cute. But of course, because Zara fitting rooms are closed, you kind of have to buy it and try it on at home. And then if you don't want it, then send it back. So once I get back from Ball Harbor shops today, I'm gonna show you all everything I bought from Zara and try and find like the little reference numbers and put them in the description box if any of you guys are interested. And that's it, it is now 2.30. I'm gonna call an Uber and head to Ball Harbor shop so I can go and shop for this campaign with sex. Hopefully it's already up on my Instagram account. I think it's gonna go live on Friday, May, no, Friday, April 30th. You see that post? Please go show it some love. Drop me three red hearts to let me know that you came from this video. And I love it when you guys do that. So thank you for participating, it's fun. And I'm gonna pop on this Fendi bag, pop on these Gucci sunglasses, get a reusable mask, and head to Ball Harbor Shops. By the way, I'm just rushing because I already know I'm gonna be at Ball Harbor Shops all day and I'm probably gonna stop at Makoto and get something to eat. And I have a wax appointment at six back here. So I don't wanna miss it y'all. Lord knows I need it. All right, let's go. All right guys, the scent of the day is Maison Francis Kirk de Jean Paris Baccarat Rouge 540. Very expensive, smells amazing. Definitely sprayed a little bit of that in my eye, but that's what I get. Okay, my Ubers are almost here. Let's go.
I did the most. Um, so just getting back from Ball Harbor Shops, one of my favorite places to shop here in Miami Beach. Are you crooked? Ooh, sorry, I'm all greasy. Anywho, so I had to do a little shopping for a collaboration that I'm doing with Sat. So I went and got a dress. I actually tried on like four or five dresses. The first dress I tried on was a Zimmerman dress. It was like a yellowish golden color with pinks and purples and it was really, really super cute. I actually really loved it. But I feel like the last time I worked with Sats, I did a similar dress, which is this pink road dress they both have the same feel so i wanted to do something a little different i tried on this like bubblegum pink stod dress with fringe that wasn't really given what needed to be <laughs> given um it was a beautiful dress just not for this occasion then i tried on was it sink -a set dress that was strappy with like tiered bottom more like a boho vibe i really love that dress i actually ended up getting that dress to shoot a campaign for sex tomorrow when Maria or Bella Rosa blog comes by. I have a great pair of shoes that I'm gonna pair with this, my Stuart Weitzman's and some lovely sunglasses that I'll show you guys in a minute. I also tried on a Farm Rio like wrap dress that was very intricate and beautiful. I love Farm Rio and that dress was wonderful as well. And the last dress I tried on was like another, I think it was also a Farm Rio dress. It was yellow with like a one shoulder kind of poofy and a long maxi kind of skirt in a yellow linen fabric and it also had pockets it was stunning i almost bought that dress just like for my birthday and i might actually still get it <laughs> but if you're interested in any of the dresses that you saw me try on at sack i will link them all down below and you can check them out i am wearing a us size four or a medium in all of them. That's what I did. Got that dress for my campaign, which is great. This campaign is very last minute. Mind you, today is a Wednesday. This campaign needs to go live on Friday. And I have to literally shoot it tomorrow, edit it and shoot it to the brand really quickly. But it's worth it, y'all. Trust and believe, Sax is not playing. I also got a cool pair of sunglasses. Let me grab those. So these are the sunglasses and they're also going to be a part of the Sax campaign. These are Karen Walker sunglasses and they're divine. Look at them. Y'all know I'm really into like 70s sunglasses and these are just doing it for me i'm loving that gradient on them i'm loving like the gold specks in them and they are just everything oh can you see them with this dress hopefully it photographs well because literally i just kind of threw this outfit together last minute but i think it's gonna work i think the photos are already up so if they are go like it, this photo again with three red hearts let me know what you think i think i did a good job for doing it super last minute so that's what i got from ball harbor shops i don't know if i'm gonna show y'all this because i've been doing the most i also bought a pair of bottega venetas <sighs> i'm gonna wait to show these to y'all don't be mad but guess what i got down below in the comments and i will definitely show this probably in the next vlog that's gonna happen in like two or three days don't worry, you won't have to wait long. Okay, so that's what I got from Ball Harbor Shops. I also ended up going to Makoto, which is my one of my top three restaurants of all time anywhere in the world at Ball Harbor Shops. It was so good. I got the skirt steak. I always get the skirt, the skirt steak. It is perfectly seasoned, perfectly cooked, delicious absolutely delicious i got a thai mojito i don't know why i haven't gotten a thai mojito before because that was the best drink i've had there and i pretty much tried everything they have on the menu and then i also got an order of their vegetable fried rice now i know it's just fried rice y'all and everybody can make vegetable fried rice but this fried rice they put love and attention and dedication 
into that rice because it was delicious. I ate at Makoto, enjoyed the vibes at Ball Harbor Shops. It's always such a beautiful place to shop. I mean, everyone is stunning. All of the stores are really nice. The scenery there, all of the foliage and the trees and the water and the koi fish. I mean, it's just uh, one of my favorite places to shop. Okay, so now that I've kind of shown you what I've gotten, it's kind of dark, y'all. Should I wait till tomorrow to show y'all what I got from Zara? I kind of don't feel like waiting until tomorrow. I'm going to show y'all now, but it's going to be real, like, it's not going to be in-depth like most of my hauls are. So let me get myself situated, and then I'm going to show you guys what I got from Zara earlier. And then we're going to end this vlog. I actually was supposed to go and get a wax, but I scheduled it for early tomorrow morning before Maria and I shoot because I just had too much going on today. I will check back in when it's time for the Zara haul. All right guys, sorry if the light is not as good. The day is kind of ending. First up, I got this little like linen top that everybody has. I got it in a size small. I probably need a medium because the sleeves are kind of short, but I could always roll them up. I actually really like how the small fits. There's a little zipper here on the side and the matching skirt with the slit. Here is how it looks. A lot of people have this set and I absolutely love it. So I got a small in the top and a medium in the bottom. Thank God I got a medium in the bottom because it's a little snug. But I love this like oatmeal linen like material. I must say that the top is just a tiny bit itchy, maybe a little scratchy, but I love how this looks. So I'm definitely going to keep this yeah and i'll probably just wear it with the sleeves rolled up like this a nice pair of sunglasses it's giving what it needs to give for sure i don't know if they still have this online definitely check in store they might still have a few but everybody and their mama have this set but i'm loving it all right guys this next top is a fail it's like a beautiful almost linen like material i love the shape of it but it has too much extra fabric here on the side i think i need a small but even so i don't think it's going to rectify how this looks and then i got these mint like light blue pants and I love them, but I think I need a small. So here's the top. As you can see, it's just way too much material. Like I want it to be like this. This is me pulling it all the way in in the back. That would be stunning. The pants are lovely. I'm standing on my tippy toes, by the way. If not, this is how it looks. On my tippy toes. I love the pants. I just wish they were more like that. And as you can see, I'm grabbing it in the back. These pants are a medium. Maybe I need a small. Uh, so I might take these back and try and get the small or maybe I can get them taken in. I don't know if it would be worth it. I think they were 40 bucks, so not bad. So next up, ignore this top because it's wrinkled and this is not even from Zara. This is from Twa, the label, but I needed a top to wear with this bottom. So this is like a satin, sateen, almost like fuchsia skirt, but it's really a skirt, and I love it. It fits like a dream. I love the color. It's not really coming across as like magenta as it is. It's definitely magenta. It fits perfectly. Ugh. I love the fabric, the sheen of it. Super cute. Definitely keeping this like it's the perfect flattering fit. All right guys, so next up we have this top from Zara and I wanted to love it because it reminds me of the top that I just had on. The thing is there's too much fabric here 
And even though these cross in the back, this one isn't adjustable. Like you would think you would be able to adjust it here by pulling it, but it's two separate strings, which is nuts. Like, <laughs> so it just feels a bit baggy and not attractive. This is a medium. Maybe I'll exchange it, but I really don't like the fact that you can't tighten the straps. That's just dumb. Why would they make it like that? Anywho, maybe it will work better in a small, but like it's just not very flattering, especially if I wear it the way it's supposed to be worn, which is more like a crop top. It just sits like this. So this is going back. All right, guys, I think we have another winner. This is another two-piece set from Zara. It is almost like a linen with these very muted green, brown, blue, and white. Comes with a little crop top that ties in the back. And then this matching kind of sarong skirt. What's cool about this is this has like built-in underwear. <laughs> so the underwear are like this kind of nudie color. You step into them and then you just tie, which is really cool. I am really feeling that. This is what it looks like. Definitely keeping this one. It's everything and it's like perfect for like Miami. You can also kind of turn this a little more so that it's like that. You can wear it with a nice sandal. I will probably wear this with my Chanel dad sandals. I got a medium in the top and in the bottom. Fits wonderfully. I found this in store. So we're gonna keep this. We're gonna keep the purple skort, not purple, the magenta skort and the linen two-piece set. I think everything else is going back. And that is my Zara haul. So this is kind of why I don't do a lot of Zara hauls. Like I just find the quality of Zara to have just plummeted over the last few years. Things that look cute, they're either, they either don't fit like you've seen. There's too much fabric here, there's too much fabric there. It's just, and then the price points of it Literally, you can go to a Nasty Gal, you can go to a Boohoo, you can get the exact same quality as Zara, but for like cheaper. And not even the same quality, sometimes better. And that's on period. But I did find a few cute things. And if they're still available on the website, I will try and link them down below for you guys. Going to put on something a little more comfortable, pour myself a glass of wine, and relax and prepare for my shoot tomorrow with Maria. All right guys, just got out of the shower, did my little nighttime skincare routine, put on this super cute like watercolor two-piece set from Urban Outfitters. They have such cute like loungewear and sleep sets. I will be sure to link a few of my favorites down below, including this one and you guys can check it out. This is a size medium by the way, comes with the little matching boy short. Anywho, I am parched. I have not had enough water today. So I'm gonna drink a big old cup of H2O. Gonna turn on YouTube, watch some of my favorite YouTubers and just relax because I've been running nonstop today. But if you enjoyed today's video, Please do give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the little notification bell so that you never miss a video. Join the fam, I'm trying to get to 50K before my birthday. That would be so awesome. Anywho, I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I'm probably gonna see you soon in the next one because I'm vlogging tomorrow as well. So, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.